Hello, my name is Ian and I'm a tech here at Micro Center. Today I will show you how to start a system restore in Windows 10. To begin this process, right click on the start button at the lower left corner of the screen, then click on system protection, then click on system restore. Then here it will show you restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. It will typically recommend a restore point to you, or you can choose a different restore point by selecting the option for it, then clicking on Next. To see more restore points, click on the checkbox to show more restore points, then select a restore point. You can see what will be affected on the computer by clicking on Scan for Affected Programs. And this might take a few minutes to scan. The scan will show you what programs and files may be affected by performing the system restore. Once that is done, you just close that box out here, and then it should bring you to a Confirm Your Restore Point screen. Here you just need to click on finish to start the restore process. Once the restore is started, it will typically take at least 15 minutes or so for the system restore to complete. And then it should just bring you back to your sign-in screen or to your desktop, depending if you have a password or not, when it is completed. The process is automatic, so once it starts, it will continue through until completed. And that's all there is to it to start a system restore in Windows 10. For any more questions regarding Windows 10 and a variety of other topics, head over to our website at microcenter.com. Check out the Tech Center for many more articles and videos on Windows 10 and a variety of other topics. As always, we thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.